tell you about nasolabial cyst so there is there are two three other names for this condition one is cleistad cyst so naso means related to the nose and labial means related to the lips so naso labial why it is named so because between the nose and the lip you have the swelling here so that will be the main complaint of the patient so what happens in this condition is the maxilla and the lateral part of the nose there will be epithelial tissue which gets trapped between these two and there will be cyst formation cyst means uh, fluid collection inside the swelling so that is nasolabial cyst so it's a extra osseous means it's not in the bone it is outside the bone but there is high possibility it can involve the bone and it is not related to the dentition too so when the patient comes to us the complaints of the patient it will be one there will be swelling here as you see in this picture and as and when the size of the swelling increases the whole that particular side will be swollen the particular side lips will be little bit elevated because the swelling is inside and pushing the lips outside and when the size of the swelling increases it will involve the nose and the patient can complain of nasal block too sometimes it so happens that will be secondary infection in this in that case the complaint of the patient will be the pain complaint of the patient will be pain along with the swelling so on examination there will be swelling confined to this area depends upon the uh, size of the swelling the extent of the swelling will be more and when we do a nasal endoscopy we'll see that there will be a swelling in the front part of the floor of the nose let me show you a video for that so this endoscopy this for this patient endoscopy first which was done on the left side to show you the normal floor and as soon as the endoscopy is introduced on the right side you can see a balloon like structure just watch this is a normal side and as soon as this endoscopy is introduced you can see a balloon like swelling here so this is the cyst so we have to come to a diagnosis so ct scan is going to help us so the ct scan finding will be you can find a well confined cyst now this is not a medical condition this is a surgical condition so it has to be removed the patient has to be taken under general anesthesia i'll show you a video of one of my patients the pre operative video and a post operative video the pre operative video which i have already shown you same thing this is a pre operative video which shows the left nasal cavity and the floor of the nasal cavity is normal of course this is normal because the right side is involved so as soon as the endoscopy is introduced on the right side there is a swelling balloon like swelling which you can see now this this particular one this one now this is a post operative uh, endoscopy on the of the right side same side where you can see that cyst has completely gone and the floor is normal and nothing to worry there will be no scars because mostly it is done from inside the mouth and some of the surgeons some of them they may do uh, through the nose through, with the help of an endoscope either way you will not have any stitches but in the in the sense the stitches we cannot be seen outside the stitches are inside and it will heal well so nothing to worry why i am saying is that it is not a infective condition and it is not a cancerous condition so and if the once the cyst is removed the chances of recurrence of the cyst is very very less so this is how we manage a case of nasolabial cyst thank you so much